Yeah, we go straight down to audiences. So where is our, yeah, custom. Yeah, there's our audiences. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set up, we're going to set up two very important, actually there, there's three audiences, but we're going to set up two uh, right here, right now. And that, yeah, go ahead and click on that one, custom audiences. And so one audience is going to be based on those who, who land on the landing page, but do not opt in. That's a very specific type of person. They saw your ad, they clicked, they came to the landing page, but for whatever reason, they didn't opt in. Okay. That's one custom audience. That audience is based on the landing page. Okay, so okay. hit the blue button, create audience. Oh, okay. And then let's go down to custom audience. And then this is gonna be website. So these are the custom audience. These are the different custom audience um, um, sources, but really in your business, real estate, you're only gonna, gonna create audiences around website video and and maybe customer list but okay. but right now we'll focus on website and video so so as we take the video and post it on facebook as the actual ad right then we'll come back and, and create an audience around the video okay. that's that's creating an audience around those who watch x amount of time of that video so if the video how long is the video the ad the actual ad um, I think it was 52 seconds. Yeah. So let's, let's call it, yeah, 52 seconds. So we would come in here. Or maybe 55 seconds, actually. Yeah. Let, let's just say 55 to be yeah. safe. So we would create an audience in the video slot around those who watch 15 seconds of it. Okay. Right. Um, and then, and then that would be an audience you can retarget in the future. Um, but right now let's do website. So it's website and then click next. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our landing page, open up that tab, um, that you have at the top. So oh, go to your, one? no, your landing page, the tab, go to your, go to your landing page. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So um, that copy would be this. this one. Yeah. So copy this, copy this. And all you need is the, is, is just the domain. So now in this case, I'm always telling you to double click, open the whole thing. In this case, you only need your domain. So the right group for you. Yeah. Only that part. You don't need the www. You don't need the HTTPS. And it came so, up automatically when I let go. No, let it go. Click, click, and just copy. Okay. No, 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 no. Just, yeah, click. Yeah, there you go. Re Recopy it. No, you need the whole thing. So, so the right group for you. Yeah, grab everything to the right. So grab that whole link. All you, so all I'm saying is you don't need the www. Got it. So, yeah. So just copy everything to the right. That's your domain. That's the full domain. Just the domain. Okay. okay. So copy that. This is the landing page. So now let's go back to Facebook. And, and here, what we're going to do here is the, um, the green dot, that's the pixel, that's the source. And then all website visitors, click on that one. You're going down a specific, which is a second one down. So people who visited specific web pages, okay? And then the retention, the 30 days, this is, this is, a, this is an, the event. Um, but even if it was a listing, even if it was an open house, even if it was a buyer guide or seller guide, on the landing page, 30 days is, is kind of the max on you want to, what, what you want to do. And, and all that is, is Facebook is going to, is going to only keep people in this audience who have, who have been on that page in the past 30 days. Okay. If someone landed on it 55 days ago, they would not be in this audience anymore. Okay. Right. And, and the reason why I have it that way is because very rarely do we remember websites that we clicked on 47 days ago, yeah. especially if I only clicked on it once, like I'm not going to remember your damn website. Right. Okay. So, but, but if, but 30, and sometimes I'll even go lower than 30. Sometimes I'll go 15 days, but, but I'll, yeah. well, let's leave 30, but, but just putting your consumer hat on, right. Like sometimes mm -hmm. like actually, well, damn, most of the time we don't, we don't even remember what we clicked on yesterday Yeah, because we're clicking on so many random websites as we're online. That's if we're active online, like, like you and I, like we're probably online. I'm on, I'm online all damn day. Yep. So I'm clicking on random stuff all damn day. And so a lot of times the next day, I, I don't even remember what I clicked on yesterday. Yep. So 30 days is kind of the most, right? So leave that 30. And then now we're going to paste in our link right there at the bottom. Okay. Now this is this. Yeah. Paste it in there. there. This, yeah. Paste it in right there. This is where we get super specific. So always hit the blue. So when you paste it in, click the blue, you'll see the drop down, click the blue. Okay. okay. So now this is where we get very specific. Okay, now that's the thing about Facebook, about running a Facebook ad, about setting up all of this stuff. It's about specific. Like that's the key word right here. We we are going we are we are being specific. So in this case, we're telling Facebook that this is an audience of those who landed on that page, okay. but they never landed on the thank you page. Okay, that's, that's narrowing it in even further. 
they okay. never landed on the thank you page. And the way we tell them the, the Facebook system that is we scroll down and we click on exclude people. So click on exclude people right there below. And then we're going to follow the same scroll down. We're going to follow the same map that we have at the top. There's the green dot. All website visitors change that to specific. We're following the same as we did at the top. Leave it at 30. And then that link is the thank you page. So now grab your thank you page link, only the domain. Um, and then so, so, so that's how you really narrow it down. It's only going to capture the people who have been on the first page. They've never been on this page. Okay. Okay. So paste that in and then create audience. Okay. Actually, we got to name it. So yeah, hit the blue, go all the way to the, actually, actually at the bottom, at the bottom audience name. And, and it is what it is. People who landed on, and, and we're, we got to be very specific with the audience name as well. Um, actually, let's, let's rename it. We'll, we'll do, um, we'll do um, home buyer event page visitors. Yeah, home buyer event or whatever the name of it was. Yeah, home buyer, oh. home buyer event page visitors and in parentheses only. Home page, home, home buyer event page visitors only. Okay, create audience. Okay, cool. That's, that's this audience. So in the future, hit done. Now, this is an ad that you're not going to run for too long, right? It's, it's an event. One right? week. So it's a one-time thing. Yep. So depending on how much one would spend for this, then this is really important. But if we're only spending a few bucks, this part really isn't important for a one-time event. This would be, this is super, super important and required and mandatory and, and all the above recommended all the above for a seller guide or a buyer guide. Mm -hmm. um, because those are two campaigns that I want you to always be running one of one or the other, right? You're not going to run both of them at the same time throughout the month. I want you to stick to one, one run, run one or the other. We're either going to blitz and go on a, on a 90 day run and only promote the seller guide or, or, or buyer guide. In that case, when you're running an ad for that long every day, you know, for a few months or whatever, when you're running, it's one campaign, that's when this custom audience is the most important. Okay. Right. Because, because in this case, there's not going to be that many people in that audience uh -huh. because we're not running it for that long. Uh -huh. And a lot of times it's the same with an open house. A lot of times it's the same with a listing, uh -huh. right? Like if I run an ad on a listing, I'll run an ad for maybe five days and then the damn thing's under contract. Yep. And a lot of times you may not even, depend on how hot your market is, you may not even have to run an ad for a listing because yeah. the, the damn thing must be under, might be under contract by tonight. Exactly. Right. We got 15 people bidding on the damn thing nowadays. Right. So it's like, yes. so in that case, yeah, you may not always even need custom audiences for, for listings, open houses or events like this, but yeah. I want to do this just to teach you this part and, 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 yeah. and, and, and make sure that, you know, you're being taught this. Um, for sure. So that's the page visitor. That's the landing page visitor only. Now let's click the blue button again. And now what we would do is we'd create an audience around the thank you page. So Which button am I clicking? Create audience. Oh, create another. Okay. So custom audience. And then website again. And then next. Okay. So same with this, and, and, and actually not same with this, but the second one, events, all website visitors, hit that, it's always specific. Always hit the drop down. go to specific, it's always specific. Okay, so, so now this is, this is, this is different. This is, these are actual leads, right? So these are actual leads. So, so people that opt in, they landed on this thank you page, it is a lead. Um, so the retention, I change out the retention, I'll max it out at 180, 180 is the max. So I just want Facebook to keep these people in this audience for as long as possible. And it's 180 because this is a lead. I don't, yeah, we want to keep them in this audience for, 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 for max 180. So now take the thank you page link, paste it in there and then just, um, and, and give it the name, hit the blue, always go with the drop down, And then um, the audience name is, is exactly what it is. Home buyer event leads, right? Cause they landed on the thank you page. So home buyer event leads. Um, and then create audience. Perfect. And that's it. And, and you know what, while we're here, while we're here, let's, let's, let's grab those other links real quick. Um, let's grab, let's grab your, what do we have? A, a, a seller guide or a buyer guide? What do we have? Buyer guide. Okay. Do that real quick. So, so let's do, let's do one more. Let's do, um, 
let's go back to Kartra, grab your links for, for, for the opt-in and for the thank you page. So here's opt-in. So get coder link. No, no, no. Oh, get coder link. Yep. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I, okay. So we'll copy. Yeah. Get the page link and go ahead and copy the whole thing and just open it up in a new tab. Okay, cool. So just copy that, that front part. And this is um, landing page, same exact as the other one. So let's go back to Facebook. So this is going to be um, create audience. And then this is going to be website and exactly the same as the other one, page visitors only. So, yep, hit the drop down. 30, paste in that link there. And then, um, and then give it the name. Yep, go with the drop down. And then the audience name is um is 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 buyer guide buyer guide page visitors yeah buyer guide page visitors only and then and then what we also want to do because it is the landing page we also want to exclude um the thank you page okay so exclude people right there at the top exclude people and then same with this one and and all website visitors go back down to specific again the same but the 30 we're going to also max it out so this is a lead so i want i want to max max it at 180 and and that's it so create audience actually yeah paste in the link there i'm sorry the thank you page link goes in right there so we need to do the thank you page yeah the thank you page so copy this one here Okay, perfect. And then, um, and then hit the drop down and create audience. So, okay, so that's that's that. Now, now hit done, and then hit the blue one again. Create audience, and then website, and then um, specific, and then this one is leads. These are people who landed on the thank you page. So max that out one eighty. Okay, so and then paste in that link, give it a name. So again, as you really roll out and as you start running ads, this is the campaign that you're going to be running more than anything else, right? More than a listing, yes. buyer guide leads. So create audience. That was that was what we said last time. Oh yeah, it's down here. Buyer guide page visitors. Yeah. So this is buyer guide leads. Perfect. Gotcha. So create audience. So so this is this is the campaign that I that I that I want you sticking to, right? Yes. When it's not a one off ad. It's this one. So yes. that's why in this case with a buyer guide or seller guide, but with the buyer guide campaign, this is where the audiences are the most important because that's the campaign that we're going to be running more yep. for a longer period of time, more budget's going to go into that campaign. So mm -hmm. therefore those custom audiences will continue to grow bigger. And, and, and so now the way you leverage these audiences is those who land on the page visitors only Let's say, for example, let's say, for example, we run we run our first ad and it's the buyer guide one and, and we're putting a good, a decent budget on it. That audience will will, will be good that pe because people are clicking on ads and they're clicking, coming over the page. Some are opting in, some are not. And so as we as we as we keep moving forward, ad number two, we'll go set up ad number two and retarget that audience. We'll go set up ad number three. We're going to continue to run it to Odessa. We're going to continue to run it to Odessa. But we're retargeting all those people that are in that audience. Yeah. With our third ad, with our fourth ad, with our fifth ad. We're always retargeting those people because those are people that are seeing our ads, but they're not opting in for whatever reason. Yeah. Show them another ad. Okay. Ad number three, show them another ad. Ad number nine, show them another ad. Yeah. Right. And yep. and so and so that's an audience that you'll always retarget from ad number, ad number three and on. Ad number three and on, you'll always want to retarget page visitors only. Okay. The moment you start getting leads, which will happen on ad number one, really. Um, so let's call it ad number two. As we go and set up ad number two, yes, we're retargeting the page visitors only. But now ad number two and on, we're now excluding the lead audience. Yes. Right? Right. And so that's, that's, that's how you work that. And, and so now the video as well. The video is not actually. Do you have any videos on your business page? Any um, random video on your business page? Yeah, on my face, I have okay. lots of videos. Like on your like, business page. 
Yes, okay, ones cool. I made of me. Yeah, 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 videos. No. Oh, you have no videos on your business page? Not of me, no. But do you Just videos I took like of open houses and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. So create audience, let's do a video one real quick. So create audience and then go down to custom audience. So, so, and then we'll go video and then we'll go next. Okay, so this is how you create custom audiences around videos. And every time you put up a video, especially if it's an ad, actually I would, I would only probably recommend an ad. If, if, if you're putting up a video and you're running an ad on it, this is what you want to do is create an audience. But if you're putting up a video on the business page and it's not an ad, then I really wouldn't create an audience because, because you'll probably have people from all over the damn place watching that video because it's just an organic post. You might take that post and share it to your personal profile. Yeah. And now your 3000 friends on your personal page who happen to be people like me that live all over the country. Mm -hmm. If you put us all in an audience, that's a waste, yeah. right? Cause, cause now you have that audience of those who watch that video, but they're all over the place. So, so if you were to retarget that audience in the future with a listing or with an open house or with anything else, it's like, shit, I'm in California. Why am I seeing your ad? Yep. I'm seeing it because you have me in that audience when you shouldn't have. Yep. So it's really only video videos that you're running for ads because I know that I'm targeting Odessa with that video. So therefore that audience is relevant. That audience is important. Um, okay. So here we're going to just do this for the hell of it. And, and um, this is how you do it. So engagement, go ahead and click on that. And this, this, is the, this is the breakdown. So I can create audiences around those who watch three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 25%, right? And so this is where you also want to put your consumer hat on where when you think about it for yourself, like when you're watching videos, for us to sit and scroll and let's say we're scrolling through through the newsfeed, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's anything really, as you scroll through and you see a video, again, put your consumer hat on. If you were to sit there and watch it for 10 seconds, even 10 seconds is a long time. 15 seconds is a long time. Like if I watch something and I sit there for 15 seconds, I'm going to recognize that person. I'm, at least if I see them again, I'm going to, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to recognize them. Sometimes people try to go 25%, 50, 75, 95%. Let's create an audience. You have a 52 second video. Let's create an audience of those who watch it for 95%. You would think that's good. You, no, 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 no. I'm not going to have you do that. Oh, you, okay. I'm trying to give you, <laughs> give you an example. You would think that's good and it is good, but that's going to be the smallest audience. Yeah. It's not realistic. Not, not everyone's going to watch the whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. So therefore if I do create an audience around it, it's going to be a small audience mm -hmm. versus if I just create an audience around 15 second viewers, that will be a larger audience and 15 seconds, in my opinion, is long enough. Like if I watch again that long and I, and you have me in a 15 second audience and then you show me another ad, because that's the whole reason for all this is to retarget those who are in this audience. I'll probably recognize you. Like, cause, cause I already watched a, a previous video and, and it was only 15 seconds, but that was long enough psychologically for us to remember something. Yeah. So 15 seconds is what I really do around video custom yeah. audiences, 15 seconds. So click on that one and then choose video in the top, right? Choose videos. And then here you'll see a, a, a list of all of your, of your videos. Um, and then. If you have multiple pages, you'll see that at the very top as well. So you'll see the drop down for Facebook page. And if you have multiple pages to the right, that's where it'll show you to the right, Kara, right? Oh, I'm sorry. So, so if you have multiple pages, then you would find it here, you know, um, but, but it's just this one. So, so actually do you, it, no, it is this one, right? Kara, right? The right group for you is my, that's my business page. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Which is, which is the one that we're already on, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the one we're already on. Yeah. So we're good. We're good. So there's that. And then now just find any video, any video. So that stop renting 2000 views. Did you run an ad on that? Um, yeah. Okay. Well then just a basic boost ad. Okay. Let's create that audience, create that audience. Yeah. Perfect. And then, and then go ahead and scroll down and confirm. So look, you had 2000 people that viewed it and you didn't have any of them in a custom audience. And so now out of the 2000 people who viewed it, that's whenever you see a count like that, it's because they watched it for, they watched it for, I think, I think Facebook tracks that actual, they give you that 2000 number based on the fact that 2000 people watched it for three seconds, 
or 15 seconds. I, I want to say it's three seconds. Um, I want to say it's three seconds. So whenever you see a, a view count, it's based on three seconds. It's either three or 15. I think it's three. Um, okay. But but so let's say, let's say, for example, it's, it, it's three. Let's say it's three. You got 2000 views and it's based on three seconds, right? So now we're creating an audience around those who watched it for 15 seconds. So maybe that's a thousand of them. Maybe that's 700 of them. And that video, in right? all honesty, is probably only 10 to 15 seconds long, period. Okay, so there was a super short video. Okay, so then in that case, then then this is damn near show. This is like 100% people that watch the whole damn thing, which is fine, which is fine. So, which is fine. But in the future, yeah, you'll do videos longer than that. Do videos longer than one minute is a sweet spot. If you can get videos into up, up to one minute, um, then, then that's a good, a, a good sweet spot. Okay. So here retention, same thing as the other audiences. I'd probably only put maybe 30 days, 30 days, the longest, and then audience name, um, get very specific with it. Um, just so you know what video that was. Yeah. Stop renting, stop renting, start. Yeah. Stop renting, start owning video in parentheses. Um, actually you could, you could put, yeah, you just put video and then in parentheses, 15 seconds. Okay, perfect. And then create audience. And that's it. That's, and then done. And that's what you'll be built. You'll be basing your custom audiences around is, is, is websites, um, landing page, thank you pages and videos. That's custom audiences. And, and on our next call, as we, as we really go through, and as we really start getting these audiences built, I'll show you how to, how to retarget them. It's all done in the ad setup. Okay, cool. Yeah.